Are you ready for a new speedrun marathon featuring 16 of the top speedrunners which will be focused on entertainment first? Well others and I are currently in the process of making that happen, but we can't do it without you guys. If you'd like to contribute, you can go to gofundme.com slash Oceanside. First on our list we have Exarian, who is on pace for a nice PB at the very end of a fire red run. At the very beginning of this fight he needs to spend several turns raising his special attack, but he gets hit with a critical at the worst possible time and loses the whole run. Dead. I have to win a coin flip. Oh, I didn't even get the range. This occurred right as Ouija was about to complete a 120 star run. He's done everything and just killed Bowser, so the only thing left is to grab the star. His controller breaks at the worst time possible, and it causes this to happen. Caleb was at the final fight in a Mega Man X2 run. It looked like a potential PB, but he basically gets as close as possible without beating his time. Oh, it's time to it again. Oh, what the fuck? This is one of Shadow Wolf's runs of Undertale. He's attempting a trick called Play Skip, which saves over three minutes, where he needs to pause at a very specific time. He ends up pausing a single pixel early and then walks into the cutscene. No! Dude! No! No! This run came after months and months of dedication. Jodenstone had been attempting to beat the famous 1810. It looked like this run could be it, but he ended up tying 1810, and upon inspection, it was a few frames behind the world record. Sun West is a very underrated Mario runner. In this run, Wes was on pace to beat Darbian's record, and even after the run was over he thought he might have done it. But after review, it turned out the run was a single frame behind the record. If there's anyone on this list you guys should follow, it's Wes, because I have a good feeling he's going to be taking the record soon. I think that might be it. That might be record. SSBM Stuff is a great Spyro runner. He had gotten past the hardest part in his Spyro 2 any percent run, and was on pace for a pretty big PB and world record. He goes out of bounds so that he can touch the water and then use that to swim through the air. But it looks like he just barely comes in too high, which causes him to fall and die. Shibmeister was about to complete a nearly 8 hour run of Kingdom Hearts 2. His controller completely died at the last fight of the game, which caused him to die. Like in my combo, I can do one horizontal. Alright, I got laser too. We're good. We got sub 8. Congrats. We in there. We in there. <laughs> Whoa, why isn't it? Why aren't they reflecting? Why aren't they reflecting? My controller died! No! <laughs> Are you fucking serious? No, 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 not like this, not like this! Don't. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't. Dude, look at that glitch though. McVin was on good pace during a Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal run. The very last thing you do in this run is kill this guy with 16 sniper shots. After 15 shots, McVin's power converter overheated and his PS2 lost power. And now to wrap it up, we have this video of Punkation. He was at the end of Bowser in the Sky, about to enter the final fight when he got trolled by an invisible wall, 
three times. He still managed to beat his best time by a single second, but he fell short of the 142 mark that he had been seeking for months. <laughs> That's bullcrap. Oh my gosh! I swear, I swear. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this right now. I just lost 142 because the invis wall just got me three times.